Sienna reported their earnings. They came in with some surprises, and what the market really liked was the guidance. So, Jim, when we take a look at these numbers, they were a bit of a surprise. They were pretty good. They came in with a 3% increase in the gross margin. I don't think anyone expected that. No, and this is on top of Juniper saying some good things, and Cisco obviously had a last good quarter. Uh, the stock has been very strong, one of the strongest stocks in the Dow, ActionLargePlus.com name. The telcos are spending. Now, we didn't think they were. I mean, the last few things that they've been saying is, is that, you know, they're going to cut back on capital expenditures, but you can't have this kind of rally unless they are spending. And this is kind of emblematic of what a lot of happening in tech, is that we've really written off tech, whether it be text instruments, analog devices, Micron, those have been terrific, Seagate, Western Well, we Digital. got sequestration shoved down our throat, yeah, and we were well, told, man, the government's not going to spend any money, and that's it for them, but there's well, other customers. There's a lot of, uh, there's no inventory in the system, it seems like, and there's a lot of, a lot of kind of a sub rosa, we're not going to build any more capacity in, uh, in tech. Uh, usually what happens to the disk drive companies, they start building factories madly and the prices go down. That hasn't happened. Uh, the DRAM, uh, and NAND, Flash, a lot of factories. That hasn't happened. And here it looks like, geez, you know what, these guys are all pretty lean, uh, get a little bit uptick in spending, and they really go flying. Uh, uh, I was talking about uh, AMT this morning, um, American Tower with, with Stephanie, co-portfolio manager with me at Actualers. That one's come down a lot. And it, what David Faber was saying this morning on Squawk on the Street, that if Sprint gets bought by SoftBank, SoftBank has to build out its network because they do not have, Sprint's not everywhere in this country like ATT and Verizon. Okay. And that would be right. great for AMT, great for CN, great for the whole group. So I think the group has legs, and I think Cisco's not even done. <laughs> now, when we look at Sienna, they raised their third quarter guidance for revenue. That's kind of amazing. Uh, up quite a bit. Now, it is a big spread, 515 million to 545 million. That's a big spread. But boy, if they get these numbers, I mean, people were only expecting them to do 509 uh, million. You know, people just written off Sienna. They didn't like Sienna. Um, Sienna's a good company, by the way, but uh, we've had no spending in this group for a long time. And that's what's so interesting for me, Deborah, is that the reason why everyone's caught so flat foot on this and stock's really climbing is because when you listen to the big telephone companies, they are telling you they're not spending. They're not doing it. And, well, they're not spending in, in volume. Mm -hmm. but this is also good for JDSU. Um, you're going to see people taking numbers up for the group. Uh, so don't sell anything yet. This is very much of a surprise because you just had the Sienna conference. Let me ask you something, Jim. If, if their customers, if they're, if they're doing more because the customers are doing more, and we've talked about corporate cash levels being so high but them not spending, it, are we finally getting to a point where these – the big corporations are finally starting to spend their money internally and, and, and spending yeah. on their own business rather than just doing dividends and, and things like that and not hiring that finally. It, it hasn't to... happened yet. This would be, uh, I don't know how much to weigh on this because there was another uh, call out this morning that information technology spending is dropping. So okay. there's a lot of cross currents here. But I did want to point out that this group was left for dead and that was premature. And Cisco was the first one to tell you that. And watch a lot of these texts. They're very low multiples after being high multiples. And they're the last group that's still standing. Now, in the way that I always think is that we'll come and they'll come for those two. I'm going to be talking about that at our conference, at the Street Monster Conference, whether this group is the next group to be shot or not. All right, well, there you have it. Some of these telcos left for dead. Well, they are showing signs of life, and Sienna looks to be one of them.